I remember um, back uh, some time, President uh, Trump said uh, say that uh, to Putin that he was going to punch him in the mouth. Six days later, six days later, six, seven days later, that guy, Putin, said, I like that guy. And that's a sign of respect, guys. Respect gets respect. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Ricky Top 365. So you guys been asking me uh, to give you some advice, guys, and then uh, I'm gonna give you little pieces, bits right here, and it's up. It's gonna be up to you to say, hey, I believe in you, and then you can ask me questions about what I be, I'm gonna be telling you guys. But the first thing I'm gonna tell you is that self-esteem, self-esteem is is what drive you to produce high performance. And you might be asking, how is that fucking possible? Uh, 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 and guys, it's, it's very simple, guys. If you if you think about, it's very simple. If you think about, you know, how you perform and, and, and uh, when you perform and, and what's going on through your head when you're performing a task, doesn't matter if it's, if you're fucking or if you're doing a project at, at, work, uh, at home, um, it's about how you feel about what you're doing, okay? Um, in, in many occasions, I've been, uh, I've been tired, like super, super tired, but uh, I still have a sense of urgency of, 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 you know, of doing the best I can. And I wanna do the best I can because I, I think highly about myself because I don't want my product to be shit. Uh, and that's what the one reason, that's why I say that, that self-esteem is, is the, uh, is, is, is the number one uh, uh, factor to drive uh, best performance. Now the second thing is focus on the few, not the many, all right? And you, you might be asking Ricky, to Rick, whatever, Rico, El Nino, you be like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? And I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you an example, guys. I'm gonna give you an example. Focus on the few, not not the many. Uh, the highest award the military gives to uh, to service members for valor, okay? The highest award that they give out, the highest award. There's no highest award than this, okay? Uh, is the Medal of Honor, okay? Um. I want to show you something real quick. Take a look. The Medal of Honor is the ultimate form of recognition for courage on the battlefield. Anybody who receives it is immediately hailed as a hero like none other. It has to be witnessed, and people have to write reports about why this person deserves it. They have earned it, and they have earned it the hard way. Saying that you're going to learn in combat, you learn a lot about love. The Medal of Honor represents usually the worst day of your life. It is the only one left alive on the front lines. He makes a choice to defend that line by himself. He kind of saved all our butts. He was a good guy. He was a brave, bravest man I ever. I remember his last words. Here you go. I'll cover you. Everything we did that day, we didn't do it because we hated the enemy. Combat is not a great thing to be in, and it's not a motivation to hate by no means. It's a motivation to love your brothers. Oh. In, all these, uh, in all these examples that I just gave you, uh, there's always one person, a few individuals, few individuals that, that they go above and beyond the call of duty and they actually represent and exemplify what, a, what, what being a hero is. It's not that they go out there thinking, hey, I'm gonna get the medal. If I do this, I'm gonna get the medal of honor. No, they doing it because they believe in their cause. They doing it because they believe in, in, in in, in themselves they're doing it because they want to they want to save their brothers they're doing it because they want to help the mission 
They're doing it because they sacrifice everything to include themselves and put the uh, welfare of others as a priority. And, and to me, uh, to me, that's, 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 that's the best, guys. I, I'm telling you. I have worked in, in many, many years with, 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 with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. But again, the few are the ones that I still contact today, are the ones that I still talk to them today because uh, because I know that doesn't matter where I'm at, doesn't matter what I need, doesn't matter situation, anything, they will be there for me. And as well, I'll be there for them. And this is a bond that we, that we carry uh, together and and it's and it's tough guys it's very tough but i gotta tell you i gotta tell you focus on the few not the many